Hi everyone, I'm Jason Chen. A Merry Christmas to you all, and of course, Happy New Year. So, I was being given a question to, uh, how can I make my life better and happier in 2018? Let's become more realistic. How your 2018 will be like, very obvious. <laughs> um, exactly just like 2017. What if I want to improve my life, become happier and um, more radiant and more loving, more kinder, more compassionate? You can if you change your mind. But um, when I say if you change your mind, you have to change your mind very radically, not only the thinking level of the mind. Changing the mind for us to mean changing your whole existence, changing your being, changing your perspective about yourself and the world. Your life instantly can change. Just like this. The decision have to making here and now, we call the choice. We, ha we all have choices. And how you're going to live your life 2018 is not based on your wishful thinking, and also it's not based on what you want, <laughs> rather based on what you are, your being, um, your program, your belief system, your faith, your trust. For example, you may still struggle financially, you may still find yourself trapped into some unworkable relationship and so forth. You don't have to. The changing of your mind is important here and now. But changing of your thinking mind is not deep enough. So the art is changing, choose it now. I want to have a great relationship with so-and-so. I want to expand my career so I can feel the contentment and satisfaction. I want to um, adventure in the world, be exciting, be more passionate, be more compassionate for spiritual students, become more enlightened, more liberated. How can I do it? Awareness, I want to be like that, is initial. First step. Secondly, to be that person. Use your mind, quiet the mind, be that person, be that happy person, exciting person, positive person, here and now. Fake it before you make it means you experience it now. As you want to experience it, sooner or later you will notice the opposition. So that means I'm not, I'm the victim, I'm the bully, I'm uh, not good enough, I'm rich, I'm uh, too overweight, I'm too underweight, I'm too tall, I'm too short, and so forth and so forth. Those are opposition, we call resistance. You must have other program in your subconscious or not so subconscious mind. Release them. How do you release it? I give you two aspects. First, do not believe your program. How do you say it? You simply say, I don't believe you. You are the angry person, for example, you are the sad person. Your program said that. And then, you being conscious that I don't believe it. Or your poor and said, I'm a very poor, I always cannot afford this and that. Simply say, I don't believe it. But it's still not enough. And then the next step to release it, it is get in touch with this energy. Energy of what? Energy of poverty. What is the energy of poverty? Very simple, I show it to you. Feeling small, feeling trapped, feeling stressed, feeling pressurized, very uncomfortable, just holding your body. That is the energy of poverty. Feeling old, shaken, weak, those are the energy of sickness. Feeling stress, overly inflating the ego self, want to control the others, there's an energy, energy of sometimes we call bully, Tyrant, so we notice. Easy to get anger, angry, and so forth. Release them. Very simple. Sit quietly and breathe those energies away. The weakness, the energy of weakness. Breathe and breathe it away. Shake your body. And that's an emotion associated with those energies. Release it by your breath. By your own way of prayer, release it. And that means have compassion to your weaknesses. 
release those energy. You don't need it. You are too stressed, release the stress, pressures, and so forth. So that's layer upon layer you release the past program energy and then the emotion associated with it, sadness, sorrow, loneliness, insecurity, fear. Smile to it. Let it go. It will go through your whole body system, release it. And then afterward, reaffirm what you want to be in 2018. More peaceful, calm, harmonious, loving, compassionate, positive, humorous, if you want. Feel it. There's an energy with it. Absorbing those energy. Loving energy is different than sad energy. Being loving. Loving energy is sunshine, warmth, easiness, no tension. Breathe in more of this. If you want abundance energy, it means confidence, glowing. Breathe in more of those energy. And then reprogram your mind again, again, and again. I hope you got some picture now. So this is what we're going to do. Become a better you, become a healthier you, become a more abundant you. Have a great 2018. Thank you so much.